Alrighty, well this experiment of a hot water system is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I'm stunned at how good it is. It's, uh, yeah, it runs, oh, you know, between half and three quarters of a gallon a minute. Just depends on how much you want to turn the tap up. Uh, I don't really want to turn it over that at the moment in case it all, uh, you know, overflows straight onto the flames. Uh, I have had a shower in it and, uh, yeah, as you can probably see, there's a little drip there. Um, I can get all of this just the way all this is uh, set up. Um, that pipe's essentially just sitting there and uh, just held in by all this little circus of stuff here. And I can click that out and uh, I'm probably going to do that, dry it all out and get a bit of silicon in there to stop that drip. But that drip actually drops completely to the floor. Uh, it's... I tell you what, it's a different beast. There's no question about that. Um, yeah. You know what the hardest thing in all of this was? <sighs> Getting all this to get high enough, but really it wasn't the hot water system that needed to be gotten high. What the real trouble was, was getting the blasted 100 pound propane tank up on all this bullshit. And I tell you what, in future I will be making some sort of a pulley system and all this here will be a bit more proper. It might actually be a bunch of cinder blocks or something like that. Uh, that's stable enough, but uh, oh god, you know, <laughs> she could be better. I was really tempted to get a 20 pound bottle, and of because I've done this before with the other hot water system that I used to have and still have laying around, uh, and that was to put a belt in there, like a you know belt you put around your pants, and then hang. A 20 pound bottle, 9 kilo bottle, off the thing. And uh, I was really tempted to do that, but I didn't want to, you know, have to uh, reset it all up later. But my gosh, it was it was hard going, lifting all that crap up. Anyway, yeah, this is, this is very different. What happens is you get within, I've used a different lid on this, and the water sort of feeds in on the other side, I don't know. I don't really want to get my slippers wet, but there you see. That lid wasn't quite right. I had to cut a few slots in it and stuff to sort of get it down to size and another slot there so I could uh, put it on over where the downpipe pot come because they were sort of into, <laughs> they were sort of touching each other for a minute there. Um, but anyway, you get a lot of condensation builds up on the side and even a little bit underneath, believe it or not, and it builds right up to within probably blooming two inches of the lid, so an inch off the bottom of the handles. And then as time goes on, it all disappears. And you'll be sitting there, and you know how after a few minutes, you'll get like steam bubbles forming on the side of a pot? Well, when that occurs, you're just sitting here and all of a sudden it starts dripping. No drips for ages, and then all of a sudden... And what it is, the steam bubbles are forming on the side of the pot and they've taken up so much room that they actually force some of the water to overflow out the head. I'm not joking. And that's pretty much your cue that it's getting up to temperature and within the next three minutes you should probably get under it. I'm not joking. <laughs> that's something I really didn't expect to, to happen, but that's what it's been doing. So yeah, I yeah, this is <laughs> pretty much... You know, you saw what you saw in the last video, which was done last night, and all of this was done today. And, uh, yeah, it's basically a day-build hot water system, and it is fantastically warm. Oh, man, I, it's a beauty. Now, of course, you only have, it works at about 12 litres, which is, well, you know, a bit over four gallons. Uh, no, actually, that's a, like three and a half gallons or something like that. Uh, before uh, it starts going cold again, but then you know if you're willing to sit there for another four or five minutes It's it's hot once again and off you go again um, it's a Strange feature. I'll show you you turn it on you're down here Now watch this Listen You see it takes like 20 or 30 seconds for the water to fire up so we turned it off 
and the water will keep going for another 30 seconds. <laughs> so, she's a bit of a delay sort of a system, you know, you turn it on and you've got a while before it all kicks in, 20 seconds or so. You turn it off and she keeps going for, well, you know, you, you, you're probably counting the screen right now. So that'll be at least another 30 seconds by now. <laughs> And we're still just starting to run out. So, but yeah, that's, I am so bloody pleased. Like, it's been a cold day. You know, I've had the wood heater going all day. The cat's been sleeping on the bed all day. I've been throwing in, you know, one small log after another. And it's cold. You know, it's like 55 Fahrenheit or something outside, you know. And uh, I think it's actually less. I think it's more. <laughs> No, actually, it, it would be. It'd be about 44 Fahrenheit or something like that outside. Uh, about, about 5, 6 degrees Celsius. And, uh, you know, in here, it's probably only 52 degrees Fahrenheit. And, and lo and behold, you know, warm as toast. So, yeah, that is... <laughs> I've got to say it, in recent times, especially with stuff that I've never really dealt with before, that is a brilliant success. And uh, shit's all over that other blooming thing that I took damn near two weeks to make and had bugger all effect versus this thing, you know, friggin' two hours yesterday and uh, a lot of today actually playing around with woodwork more than anything else and uh, and bits of wire to secure everything and, and brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So I couldn't be happier. And you know the best thing of all, you know the best thing of all is no longer having to deal with those god awful 6 volt batteries that keep dying that you go to another city to get, you pay your 35 bucks and the son of a bitch won't hold a charge within bloody 3 weeks and you know, go on to have a shower at 10 o'clock at night to realise that you turn it on and she goes for about 30 seconds and you're just getting wet and then the bastard cuts off. And you have the little low battery light come on us. Oh great, now I've got to wait till 1130 to have a shower because I've got to charge it. Fuck their blasted electronic systems that have got more safeties than you can poke a stick out that keep shutting themselves off. Fuck their shit 6 volt batteries, you can never buy a decent one. They're all Chinese junk. I've had, okay, I had about two decent ones and, and one of those I think was American. Uh, but all these 6 volt, it's so hard to get 6 volt batteries and they're all shit and that's what I had to rely on you know and this stupid thing with error sir any chance in the world it had to do oh bang turn itself off you know freaking hell you know gas runs out turn itself off Fre you know, all the bullshit no more improvisation and simplicity is the way to go